Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on estimation and rounding off. Knowing how to estimate and how to round off are two important skills that are very useful when an exact answer is not necessary. Firstly, let's look at estimation. Example 1. We go to a sports match and the announcer tells the crowd at the end of the game that the attendance was 3,985 people. A week later a friend asks us how many people were at the game. As we cannot remember the exact number, an estimate of 4,000 would be an excellent answer. Example 2. Friends are arriving from overseas and we are asked about the expected landing time of the plane. The airport schedule says 6.04 a.m. An estimate of 6 a.m. is very acceptable. Example 3. Our car is due for repairs at the mechanic and we ask for an estimated quote. The mechanic says about $700, give or take $20. We are very happy with that estimate because it gives us a good idea of the amount of money we need to take with us. Rounding off. Rounding off is a specific type of estimation which takes place in many places all over the world. The rules for rounding off are quite straightforward. Let's look at rounding off to the nearest 10. First example, round off 62 to the nearest 10. I've put a number line here so we can visualize what's going on. There's a red dot which approximates 62. Now the answer to the nearest 10 is 60 because if you look at the red dot, 62 is closer to 60 than to 70. Okay, and that's the reason when we round off the answer is 60. Example 2, round off 48 to the nearest 10. There's 48 on the line. You can see that's very close to 50. So to the nearest 10, the answer is 50. So 48 is closer to 50 than to 40. Example 3, round off 25 to the nearest 10. The answer is 30. When the number is exactly in the middle, we normally round up. So 25 is halfway between 20 and 30, so the rule is you normally round up. Many countries around the world have taken small denominations of money out of circulation. For example, Australia no longer has one and two cent pieces in circulation. Hence, consumers pay to the nearest five cents for a product. For each of the following advertised or total prices, find the amount paid by the customer to the nearest five cents. Example one, when a bag of oranges is put on the scale, the price showing up on the screen is $2.43. How much will the customer pay? The answer, the customer pays $2.45 to the nearest five cents. Example two, the price of three separate items are as follows. There's the price of the pineapple, a pumpkin and a watermelon. What is the total cost? How much will the, the customer pay? Well, when you add up the prices as they are, the total cost will be $6.86. There it is there. But because we have to round off to the nearest five cents, the customer pays $6.85.